All right, so Melanie, one of the movies that I saw this weekend was Wonder Woman, directed by a woman. I think the last time we saw like a big budget Hollywood movie directed by a woman was Hurt Locker mm-hmm. with Sharon Bigelow. Yeah. So I gotta ask you this. I'd be remiss if I walked away and didn't ask you this. What are your thoughts on women in film and entertainment? Wow, okay, so there's two issues here. There's a dearth of women behind the camera, directors, writers, executives, and there's a dearth of really good female-driven narratives. Mm-hmm. And I don't have the solution, but it needs to change, and it needs to change quicker than it's currently changing. Um, that's something I'm very passionate about, and I've experienced things firsthand um, of how a lack of women behind the camera can create a um, an interesting work environment for the females that work there. And you're talking about like the dynamic when you're on and off set, right? Exactly. So it's it's challenging if you're one of the few women on set and everybody behind the camera are males. And um, if you're a woman and you want to have really great meaty material and the whole team of writers is men, that could be fine, but it'd be great if more women can come in and tell their own stories. Because I think TV these days is all about authenticity. Yeah. So I just really cur- encourage more women to get behind the camera and and, and that is my daily toil, is every day trying to get different women to write their stories. Yeah. And some people say no, and some people say yes. Mm-hmm. And I've been sharing them with you, and we're going to share more of them on June 22nd now. Yeah.